All right. Hey, everybody. I wanted to put a video review out there for a kid's microscope. If you are interested, we recently had kind of a bad experience uh, buying a microscope. Uh, there's a lot of different options out there, a lot of junk. So this one I wanted to recommend. It's within the $100 range. Um, it arrived. I'll put a link in the description below. And overall, we're really happy with it. I'll give you a little tour here. Overall, we were just looking for something with incredible optics. I didn't want something to be too dark or too fuzzy. I mean, that's the point of a microscope, right? But you'd be surprised how many crappy microscopes there are out there for kids at the lower price range. Um, also, you know, we wanted this to be an investment, um, something that our six-year-old could use in future years, not just as a little kid, right? So here's this one right out of the box. It arrives really well packaged, and I'm noticing that it's pretty heavy duty uh, in terms of weight. So it doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It's got a solid kind of metal main body design to it. It's also got plenty of accessories that are included, including slides, a cleaning cloth, uh, and lots of other little pieces. Uh, the instruction manual is multilingual, pretty thick, although the English instructions are uh, a few pages long. They provide some detail. Um, but here it is, just a, kind of a visual tour of what you can expect. Um, this piece slides really well. It's got coarse and fine tuning or focusing, obviously. Um, no chips, no cracks. Comes with a travel bag. I don't know how useful it is, but anyway, um, one important consideration was batteries versus uh, AC power. And I definitely wanted something that did AC power. So it's pretty simple. You plug it in. The cord could be longer, to be honest, but I'm not complaining too much. Um, it's got your LED on and off switch right there. It's got a lower LED light and you can adjust the brightness on it, which is a nice feature. Um, I don't know under which circumstances you would need less light, but it is there if you need it with this dial right here. This dial, I'm not sure the name of it, but it does color filters, red, blue, purple, etc. Here is the coarse uh, tuning or focusing, and it also does fine focusing. Basically brings that kind of stage up all the way closer to your lens. And it does have three lenses. And here's the eyepiece. Now this eyepiece does kind of fall out a little easy, so don't tip it upside down. You might want to wrap a piece of tape kind of around it to make it a little thicker so it does not fall out easily. So that's a potential drawback of this microscope. Now this piece, you can actually adjust the, see this little metal twisty little knob here. You can basically take that off or out and that allows you to rotate the eyepiece and the tube in the direction that you might want it to. So that's that's an added feature. All right, and we're gonna get this actually hooked up to the phone here in a minute. Um, and you can actually use your phone with this microscope. All right, so here you can rotate your lenses. The clamps for the stage look good, so you can actually put your slides in and it'll stay in place. And that's a little plastic piece, the little adapter for your phone. And you can adjust the angle and whatnot, so it appears to be able to fit all kinds of different phones. I have happen to have an iPhone, so we'll go ahead and get a slide, one of the included slides out. And here, here are some other accessories, as I mentioned uh, before. I'm not really sure what all of them are, so time will tell, but there's clearly a little lab where you can mix things and you can actually make your own slides. There's some glass little pieces that you could put on top of your blank glass slides. So that is um, an added benefit if we find something of interest and we want to make our own slide. Uh, but for now, we'll go ahead and take a sample slide. This is like mosquito larvae or something like that. And we'll look at blood samples too in a minute and a bumblebee wing. So you can get an appreciation for the detail that the lens and this microscope can provide both lo both looking through the eyepiece and uh, through the phone camera. So here it is. Let me just put my phone up to the camera as, as if you were looking through this with your eye. And obviously you'll have to play around with the, uh, you know, the, um, the focus a little bit, but uh, this is basically what you can expect looking through there for the first time in focus. And again, my criteria, I wanted amazing clarity. And this is at the lowest function, so we can slowly zoom in here for you a little bit and actually rotate the lens to the next powerful lens. And we are looking pretty, pretty good. I am really liking the uh, detail here. 
This, I think, is the end of a honeybee wing. So look at that. You can actually see the little micro hairs or spikes or whatever. Now let's look at some human blood samples. This is included in uh, the slide. And so this is at, basically at its least powerful. And we'll still increase it to the medium power. I don't know what times it. I think it's like times 10 maybe. Um, and then full speed. Now notice we lose a little bit of light. And it's a little more difficult to focus um, because we're looking at super high power here. But it's um, overall a really nice, I think, nice detail if you can get it to where you want it to be. I'm not really sure what the blood cells are supposed to look like if, you know, um, what blurry is in that particular case. But anyway, you could see there the... Um, the power of the lens. So this is a keeper overall and we're pretty happy with it. And hopefully this video can help you if you have a decision, which one should I go with, right? There's a lot out there on the market, a lot of junk. Obviously you can spend a lot of money. So this is a good one, kind of within the hundred dollar range or so. Uh, so there we go. We'll stop the video there. Thanks for being with me. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already for more home product reviews. And I also do lots of home projects around the house, do it yourself style. So thanks again.